Hey everybody, another chainsaw milling video. Well, just kind of going over some of the things that we've used the chainsaw milled wood for uh, in terms of our, regarding our goat project. This was a milk stand right here. Got little steps there to get up in. That uh, milk stand will ultimately be inside the goat area here shortly has a little tray that you can pull out the the grain and clean it out and then the upper part there that was just a slab left over from the outer first cut and then a little gate here just some vertical pieces they're like seven eighths inch milled and then some two by four or two by three pieces running down the horizontally there so it's fun building stuff for the goats a little bit of unevenness on the edge there it's no big deal i work at a custom cabinet shop and everything has to be within just a 30 second of tolerance but just building some goat enclosures uh, I've checked with them as far as their uh, approval and they they see no problem with it so they're they're good with it so let's go in and kind of check out some of the other structures let me lock the gate behind me but this is the uh, structure and it's built on a hill so we had to kind of set it up so it can be level I use these concrete uh, footers and then I milled some 4x4 four four. hey guys what you doing hey what you doing but anyways um, so they just sit in that little pocket inside the concrete and they run vertically and then there's some floor joists that tie it across there and across the back the floor itself is two by material uh, true two inch thick some of this wood is just uh from tree damage it was a a big pine tree that was blown down and Ouch, goat's trying to nibble on my leg. And then some cross pieces. And then up there we got a uh, super long overhang. You know, it's like a two and a half foot overhang as a drip edge. So hopefully that will provide a lot of... We're going to put sides on it over here in the back on this side. And then they'll be mostly enclosed in the front as well. Inside there'll be um, some storage area for grain and some corn and things like that but this this area right here this is going to be where the milk stand gets relocated to so you would come in here let the goat into this uh, area and, uh, and go ahead and milk nice and close by if it's raining you've got uh, cover over your head but right now they also like just going underneath the structure the cool of the day laying on that cool ground but like I say that's what's cool about chainsaw milling you can actually determine hey I need this certain size or that certain size of board and just cut it in this particular case most of the stuff was milled and, and uh, put on green other ones are dry but uh, just kind of an update on the goat project we've been milling some wood for. Talk to you later.